Hello and welcome to Study with Sudhir. In this video, we are going to be looking at the excretory system chapter of ICSC class 10 on biology with SWS. We'll be doing this in about three parts or maybe four parts, in fact. And we'll be doing it in small parts so that you can understand it. Okay, we will explain this in great detail so that this chapter is absolutely pakka done for you. You can also, of course, be part of our courses on the SWS app where Smita ma'am takes our biology classes. She's our biology faculty with many, many years of experience and a very chatpata way of teaching both botany and human physiology. So let's get started with the excretory system. Now, before we start, we need to obviously understand what exactly do we mean by the word excretion. The definition is the process of removal of chemical waste. And when we say chemical waste, we are essentially talking about nitrogenous waste, excess salts and water from the body. Okay, and this happens in different ways, right? So the definition is that it is a process of removal of chemical waste, mainly nitrogenous, excess salts and water from the body. And what is really the aim of excretion? Excretion hota ke agar nahi hota, to what would have happened? So why is it necessary? Because it maintains the homeostatic condition of the body. Now what exactly is this word called homeostatic? Ye bala kya hai? It is the steady state. It means that it is the state of steady internal, chemical and physical conditions maintained by all living systems. Koi bhi living system ho, uska ek internal, chemical or physical condition rehta hai, right? Usko homeostasis kehte hain. It is the process by which the body, any living body reacts to changes to keep the conditions in the body the same. Okay, now it is basically, if I simple language, mein bataun, so it is the ability to maintain some kind of an internal stability. You know, bahar kuch bhi ho jai, bahar ki dunya mein kuch bhi ho jai, mera body ka aisa na ho ki itni thand ho, to mere body ke andar bhi kulfi jam jai, aisa nahi ho ga, right? So your body actually maintains a certain equilibrium irrespective of whatever changes happens in the environment outside, right? So it's in response to the environment outside. So for example, the body temperature regulation, the blood pressure regulation or the blood sugar regulation, all this comes under homeostasis. So the internal temperature of the human body, for example, is the best example of homeostasis, right? That the body maintains a particular temperature, right? So that is something very important. Now, when we talk about the excretory system, when we talk about the excretory system, we are talking about one release of uh, 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 the use of the kidneys, the lungs and the skin. But it's may kafi farake. For example, when we are breathing out, this is part of the respiratory system. This is not part of the excretory system. X matlab out, right? It doesn't mean just because I'm leaving out carbon dioxide, this is also part of the excretory system. Ye galat hoga. This is part of the respiratory system. Similarly, excretion is not about passing out undigested food from the intestine. Defecation is the final act of digestion. So, aap confuse mat hoye. Excretory system, if you have to understand it in very simple thing, it's more or less like a urinary system specifically speaking. So defecation is the final act of digestion and organisms eliminate waste material from digestive tract via the anus. So what are the different excretory organs that we will be considering? The most important one are the kidneys. Do kidney. Kabhi kabhi a kidney bech ke iPhone karite hain log. Okay. So uh, kidneys uh, remove urea. Jok tha. Uh, remove urea, excess salt and water, right? So the kidneys come major function is that. Then there are the sweat glands in the skin, jo pasina aata hai, right? They also remove nitrogenous waste, salt in small quantities as the purpose of the sweat is basically for 
थर्मो रेगुलेशन ओके ताकि आपकी बॉडी के टेम्परेचर को रेगुलेट किया जा सके तो उसके लिए आपको पसीना आता है वेन यू रन फास्ट और आर यू डूइंग सम वर्क देन यू नो यू स्वेट इट आउट राइट so those are the sweat glands in the skin then if we are talking about specifically about the uh, excretory organs pehla to hua lungs jiske bare mein maine abhi baat kiya remove carbon dioxide water in the form of vapor right then the second one is the uh, liver where the bile pigments this will be considered more as a part of a respiratory system the liver may the bile pigments are excreted along with fecal matter now what are bile pigments bile pigments are chiefly yellow bilirubin they are the breakdown products of hemoglobin of red, dead red blood cells rbcs okay to unse yellow bilirubin banta hai so the bile pigments are mainly that okay then uh, excretory organs jo hamare different hamare body mein mainly in this case human body mein kaun se hote hain एक्सक्रीशन बाई लंग्स इन द फॉर्म ऑफ कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड जिसके बारे में मैंने आपको ऑलरेडी बता दिया है स्वेट ग्लांस पास आउट स्वेट फॉर कूलिंग बट दे आर ऑल्सो नॉट टिपिकली एक्सक्रीटरी यू नो दे आर मेन्ट मोर फॉर थर्मो रेगुलेशन कूलिंग के लिए नॉट एक्सैक्टली एक्सक्रीटरी एक्सक्रीटरी इन द सेंस द मेन एक्सक्रीटरी ऑर्गन इन आर बॉडी इज द आर द टू किडनीज एंड दे थ्रो आउट द एक्सक्रीटरी प्रोडक्ट मेनली यूरिया इन द फॉर्म ऑफ यूरिन ओके सो दैट इज अगेन very important so that with this we come to the end of part 1 of the excretory system chapter in which i have taught you the basics of excretory system next one may we will talk about the structure of the kidney which is the most important structure part 3 may we will do the function of the kidney and finally we will talk about urine so that we do it in smaller parts so that you will find it easier to understand this particular chapter it's a high scoring chapter and it's not a chapter that you should leave out as part of your study schedule so i'll now see you in part 2 of the excretory system chapter thank you very much tata bye bye